Mm -hmm. Welcome back to our salute to low carbs. Yes. <laughs> Time to bring out the family recipes because it is National Macaroni and Cheese Day. Thank Boom. God. Whether you make it from scratch or buy it from the store, many people can agree that it is one of the most popular comfort foods here in the U.S. And my, you just are so comfortable when you eat it. Yes. You yes. unbuckle a buckle. You yeah, know. you just lean back in the mm. chair. Kids love it and so yes. do adults. Everybody That's loves great. mac and cheese. <laughs> yeah, and you can put so many things in it. As yes. you see, we've got all your possible options. Yeah. And here with the experts take on the dish is Thomas McEwen, the executive chef for Hyatt Regency in Atlanta. Welcome, chef. Thank you for bringing us this most like fragrantly <laughs> delicious wafting treat in the morning. Yes. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Will you start off? Okay, take us back. Tell us about how we got here to loving mac and cheese. How did this become an American comfort food? Because there's a little backstory. There here. is. You know, so mac and cheese has been around for quite some time. It really came to America in the 1800s. Um, chef um, Hemmings really brought it over. He worked for uh, Thomas Jefferson um, mm -hmm. in Monticello, and he's the one that really brought it to America and made it really a classic here in the United States. Mm -hmm. It goes back that far. I never knew yeah. that. Monticello. Wow, that's well, fascinating. When you think about the ingredients, they're pretty simple. You can kind of yeah. find them anywhere. So it makes it a little bit Mac. of sense. Mac. And, and cheese. cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But you can get a little bougie with it. I like a little smoked gouda cheese. I like okay, a little mix you're, of my cheese. You're super bougie with it. You I know. Can, you can get some lobster in there what, too. I do. I oh, do yeah. make a good oh, lobster yeah. mac. Yeah. What's your I favorite? Well, that's the beauty about mac and cheese. You can really make it your own and really yeah. have the beauty. So I love a lobster mac and cheese mm -hmm. myself. I love mixing different cheeses in. So you can really bring in that smoked gouda is a great one. Gruyere cheese. Yes. I love that nutty parmesan in there. Yes. Yes. And and of course I really. <laughs> classic cheddar, like a sharp cheddar, yeah. that's really a classic. So oh. walk us through here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different bowls of mac and cheese. I've yeah. had fantasies like this. Yes. And then How does it end? Yeah. 50 shades of mac. Okay, so uh, here we are. All right. So walk us through here, because we know the one in the middle is yours, I, so I already know that's the best. Yes. Yeah. So walk us through the others, and we'll get to the grand finale. Yeah, so over here you have a classic white cheddar. You have the truffle mac and cheese. You've Which, talked about yeah. that. Truffle is really that classic that really yes. elevates it. Um, right here is a uh, buffalo chicken, mm, that yeah. really American style craft, <laughs> which is the one that you associate the most around. Yep. And then you have some stofers over here. You have the broccoli mac and cheese. Yeah. And at the end, Help. bacon. Oh, oh. Bacon, bacon, bacon makes everything better. Obviously, homemade yes. restaurant yes. or whatever is the best. But if yes. you had to go frozen because you need a quick fix, what's your favorite go-to? Easy. You know, what's the beauty about this one, it's made here in Atlanta. You can buy it, it's frozen, and you can heat it up. Oh. He sells at 25 markets across the city, and um, you can get it at local farmer's markets, too. Okay, All right. if you, Yum. we're going to try some, but if you were to have, like, let's say this, original Stouffer's, what would you use, ingredient-wise, to doctor it up yeah. and to zhuzh it up a little That's bit? That's a great, a great idea. So what you do is you take it, and you're adding some fresh cheese. Okay. You don't want to buy pre-grated cheese, because that really has so many additives. If you grate it yourself, it's going to come out nuttier, mm. more flavor. I also like to add a bit of heavy cream in there. And that little knob wow. of butter right at the end, and that yeah. really makes it creamier. Yes. I hope you're not lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, so yeah. your mac and cheese, yeah. right here, at, rightfully in the center of the table. Walk us through What's this because I want to taste that yeah. first. So That's the owner, Kevin Mobley, he's uh, making Annabelle mac and cheese. It's his great grandmother's recipe. She's actually from Virginia, mm -hmm. and that's where her recipe came, just a few hours from Monticello herself. Um, so he grew up learning about her mac and cheese. It's organic pasta. It has organic milk, <laughs> and then it's aged <laughs> cheddar from England. Oh. Um, Kevin makes his product at our hotel at the High Region St. Anna, and we've been partners with him through COVID, so he had nowhere to produce his product, mm -hmm. and we gave him the space to be able to produce his product. Oh, love that. And he's across the city. You. you can find him yeah, right here in Buckhead that's at the Peach Road Farmer's Market, Beautiful. as well as many markets I've across the city. I've definitely seen this at the Farmer's Market. Yes. Um, Wow, this is so good. Oh, so, are, are you it. breadcrumb or no breadcrumb? I am oh, yeah. personally a no breadcrumb. I like oh, to put okay. cheese right on top and bake it okay. just like it is here. Okay. Oh. And so you can get it. The breadcrumb does add a nice crunch. Yeah. I like, I've added cornbread to the top of it before. Oh. That has a nice sweetness Ooh. of that southern cornbread that goes really well with the macaroni. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, mm. this is good mm. stuff here. Sir. I know. Sorry, intermission for chewing and. I know, and very cheesy. That I is love delicious. It. I love it. Okay, so if we're gonna if we're gonna buy one cheese from the store to add, what would you recommend? Would what you, what goes well with the <laughs> processed cheeses? I would look for any sharp aged cheddar. Okay. okay. That sharpness, that nuttiness, really elevates the product and really brings you to the next level of mac and cheese. Oh, okay. Give I feel like truffle. we can go on Food I'm Network going, now. I know. Hit the truffle. Let's go. I know. <laughs> oh yes. 
I know someone for Monchetter is also. Okay, a good I'll one. take I'll take a bite of this. Wow. You, want, you want the bacon Let's, one, Alex? Yeah. Oh. Mm. Pass them all down. I'll switch you. Oh, no, we're dying. Okay. Today. Yeah, no, no. No, I know. Jeez, you know I can't eat dairy right now. Oh, yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. Poor, this is My torture baby. for Alex, I know. but um, we will <laughs> sample <laughs> for you. <laughs> Chef, thank you so much for being here. My yes. Oh, all right. Happy we'll Mac right and back. Cheese Day.